Pigeon flying has been a beloved hobby for centuries, with enthusiasts training and racing their birds across towns, countries and even continents. If you're new to the world of pigeon flying, here is some of the best advice to help you get started and be successful. Choosing your birds. The foundation of any good pigeon loft is quality birds. Look for breeds known for their homing ability and flying endurance such as racing homers or giant runts. Good bloodlines are important but avoid inbreeding depression by introducing new birds periodically. Whether buying young birds or breeding your own, pick active, healthy individuals free of defects. Handle them frequently from a young age so they become accustomed to you. Housing your flock. Your loft design and setup can greatly impact your bird's health and performance. Situated in a peaceful spot away from loud noises or predators. Have enough room for your flock, recommend at least 2 square feet per bird inside the loft, with additional aviary space. Ensure proper ventilation to avoid ammonia buildup but prevent drafts. Use easy to clean materials like painted wood or wire mesh. Include perches at different heights and nest boxes for breeding pairs. Maintain meticulous hygiene. Restrict food and water overnight to encourage flying time. Install a sturdy trap door they can enter but not leave. Nutrition. Like any athlete, your pigeons need quality fuel. Feed a high carb, high protein, low fat diet. Maintain access to a gritty mix for digestion and calcium for bone strength. Provide fresh water always. Supplement with vitamins D, E and B complex for immune and muscle support. Avoid spoiled feed and use galvanized receptacles. Feed anxiously flying birds by hand to avoid exhaustion. Track each bird's weight as a health indicator. Training and exercising. Start training pigeons young, around 5 to 6 weeks old. Release them progressively further from the loft, allowing them to circle back each time. Reward returns with food. Release in different directions and weather conditions. Use landing boards and whistles to guide them. Time and record their return speeds once mature. Flag wayward birds to signal need for extra training. Give baths frequently for muscle relaxation. Gently exercise birds too heavy to fly. Maintain training through the off-season. Health and safety. Protect your birds against disease and injuries. Disinfect the loft regularly. Isolate and treat sick birds promptly. Vaccinate for paramyxovirus annually. The worm and delouse monthly. Trim wing and nail overgrowth if needed. Attach leg bands for identification. Release birds in groups to avoid predators like hawks. Limit long distance flights for young, old or compromised birds. Ensure viable landing spots and avoid poor weather. Provide rehydration fluids for return. Record keeping. Track each pigeon's background, training and race performance. Note any medical issues. Log every release and landing time. Review records to identify top birds for breeding. Check for patterns that reveal strengths or weaknesses. Adjust training and entry into races based on your records. Maintain accurate pedigrees of your bloodlines. Share noteworthy data with fellow flying enthusiasts. Finding a mentor. Joining local pigeon clubs introduces you to a wealth of advice and experience. Attend meetings and races to network with avid hobbyists. Ask about loft setup, training techniques, veterinary care, release spots and more. Some may let you visit their loft operations. Acquire stock from trusted breeders. Have a veteran assist you in handling and releasing your birds initially. Soak up all their wisdom. Participating in racing. Pigeon races test your training against competition. Enter fledglings in short sprint races, working up to older birds in distance races of 300 plus miles. Transport birds to the release point and time their return. Trap times determine winners. Winning brings prestige and higher breeding value. Lose graciously, learn from the outcomes and make adjustments. Submit vaccinations and fees to race secretaries promptly. Consider joining the American Racing Pigeon Union. Ethical considerations. While racing is historically embedded in the sport, prioritize your bird's welfare over competition. Use selective breeding not hormones or drugs to enhance performance. Call non-flyers humanely if needed. Release birds in safe conditions. Do not fly in extreme weather, temperatures or late in the day when unable to return before nightfall. Limit long endurance flights for young birds. Rotate vigorous flyers with periods of rest. Retire racers once past their prime. Enjoying the hobby. Above all, savor the beauty and wonder of your birds in flight. Pigeon flying teaches patience and observation. Appreciate their loyalty and devotion as they return home despite great distances. Share your interest by hosting loft tours. Display awards, pedigrees and photo albums. Mentor youth in the hobby. Capture your birds in art, poems and stories. Most importantly, relax and have fun while respecting your birds' health and natural behaviors. 
With proper loft facilities, training, nutrition and healthcare, you can experience the thrill of releasing your own flock and observing their flight paths. These are just some tips to start out in the enriching world of pigeon flying. With time, you will develop your own techniques and strategies. But always maintain an ethical approach that puts your bird's well-being first. The right balance will lead to happy, healthy pigeons gracing the skies above your loft. Thank <laughs> you.